I downloaded Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the beta, open beta. I downloaded it because I wanted to be able to talk about it. Frankly, I heard a lot of people saying it wasn't very good, and I just felt like, well, you know, it's one of the biggest games. I plan on getting it anyway because I'm excited for the campaign. And I found myself having a really good time playing this game. I It's probably one of the most fun Call of Duty multiplayer games I've played since like the, the Xbox 360 days, right? It was really fucking fun to me. And I've talked to people on this stream and I streamed it last night. If you want to watch it, it's up there. And some of our members of our community are more, way more hardcore Call of Duty fans. So they didn't really like it. They said, oh, the characters move too slow and time to kill is a little longer. All these things I like. Like it's the first time in ages I've been able to play Call of Duty and actually be, not only have a chance of doing well, but not well, but you know, not dying every five seconds, but I was getting more kills. I was able to concentrate enough in the battle that it wasn't just about, oh, he saw me first, I'm dead. And I know there's a whole generation of Call of Duty fans. Fuck you, Dustin Furman, you fuck. You know, Dustin Furman, he of Sacred Symbols fame says to me, he's in the chat right now, you little fuck. He says, Javi spent a lot more time in the Call of Duty beta shooting his teammates. You go to hell, sir. Let me tell you, here's what happened. What happened? Well, I'll, I'll get I'll get back to Dustin's condescending, annoying comment in just a second. But people have said though that it's a conscious choice on the part of the Call of Duty developers to bring a little bit of the <laughs> intensity down. And I know there's a whole generation that's probably going fuck this bullshit because I've seen a lot of people say fuck this bullshit. But I loved it. I hope. It does well. I pre-ordered it immediately. I was going to pre-order it anyway because I want to play the campaign a week early, but it was really fucking fun, and I'm in, I'm very excited to play it. I got up this morning, and I was really happy, and this is what Dustin's talking about. I got up this morning, and I was really excited to play it, and I was like, oh, shit, it's still live. So it was live for a couple hours, and what was cool about it, besides it just being still happening and, and being crowded is I was even a little better today. However, what Dustin's talking about is, yeah, I, I thought I found a glitch or a bug where I'm shooting a guy and nothing's registering. And I'm like, oh, this is my fucking teammate. Uh, people are saying, I'm like, no, he's not. And people are like, well, yeah, but look at the mini map and the mini map. Sure enough, he was my teammate, but there was a glitch where his name wasn't appearing. That is the biggest fault I found this week in playing Call of Duty is I did have especially after Halo has kind of retrained me in a great way to, to know who the good guys and bad guys are. These guys look so similar on the battlefield, the speed this game plays. I really hope they come out with something at launch to really demarcate your enemies uh, in, a, in a stronger way. Jalapeno Milk, thank you, buddy. Been a member for four months. He says, Call of Duty feels like hide and seek. My biggest problem is the guns feel interchangeable. They should be center stage of gameplay experience. Well, it does feel less hide and seek now because... It's not instant kill. I mean, it's very fast. Time to kill is still very fast, but I'm able to respond a little bit more. So it's no longer about if I saw you first, you're dead, right? The idea, though, of more guns or the guns being center stage, obviously, that's got to be a very difficult challenge for these guys because uh, fuck you, Emmanuel. He says, I want an easy mode. I don't want an easy mode. I want a an ability to actually have a moment to breathe and, and strategize. The guns, though, that, that Jalapeno is talking about, so much changed when Modern Warfare 1 came out and it added this RPG layer. Back in the day, Call of Duty 1, 2, and I think 3 maybe, I don't know when Warfare started, maybe it was 4, you had a, a limited suite of guns and they could tune them and balance them and make them all very specific. And the minute they got into what they're doing now, which is like, well, you get power the more you play. So it's not pay for power, but it's time for power. They had to come up with all these little tweaks and doodad knobs and, you know, stocks and grips and all this shit to equip your gun and level up. So you have that little carrot on a stick and dopamine drip at the end of every match. So you'll keep playing and it works, but it comes at the expense of the quality gameplay. So Alpino says they put so much into the sound design. This game should get a gun, be a gun nuts wet dream. What I will tell you that I, I don't even know if this is true, but I think it is. And this is the reason somebody was saying, what did you get it on? I got it on my PlayStation PS5 is because of the dual sense. Uh, when I'm playing last night, I started feeling this weird vibration. And what I think I realized, I'm not entirely sure, is that that is footsteps when someone's running up and they're close to you. And suddenly that was a game changer. I was just like, oh shit. I mean, I wasn't 20% better at the game. It mattered a little bit, but just the fact that 
when I was moving around and stuff and I could feel the controller vibrate when someone was coming up behind me or coming up, you know, around the corner, I'm, I'm not going to get that on Xbox. And so I immediately put down the cash and I got the uh, the 70 bucks version. I think it was 70 bucks uh, pre-order. Absolutely. Fuck you, Bukaki. Bukaki says, I don't want an easy mode. I want the game to be easier. I don't want it to be easier. Look, it doesn't have to be easy. I didn't, I, I barely ever climbed out of last place on my team. But the difference of this game was that in last place, I was still racking up four to eight kills and a bunch of captures in Dominion. It's not that I need it easier. I just need it to be a little less. And I don't use this word disrespectfully because I know a lot of times now the, the, the word spastic has become. And I say this as a guy with lots of facial tics and stuff. So I'm not mocking people who have those things and stuff. But the game, that's the best word I've heard to describe it. It just the last decade of Call of Duty has been a very spastic kind of herky jerky you know you can call that hard or better i just didn't like it so i'm glad that's gone is the game says jimmy mcgillcrest better than dusk well i mean dusk thrives as a single player shooter and i haven't played the campaign yet the new call of duty so i don't know but as multiplayer it's great it's great 